Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Orset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who may like it as well. Also, if you have time, please drop us a comment in the comment section. Now, something interesting happened the other day. Somebody asked me in the comment section, can you cast a spell on someone by accident? Is this something that you can do accidentally? And you have to understand that casting a spell is a very deliberate act. It's kind of like saying, can you bake a cake by accident? Uh, possibly, but I can't. It would be very difficult. <laughs> I can't even imagine like how you would accidentally throw these things together and put them in the oven. So th the thing is, is that nine times out of 10 or nine and a half times out of 10, the answer is no. A spell is a very deliberate act. Basically, a lot of people, I don't think, understand what a spell is. So let me try to explain exactly what a spell is. A spell is a concentrated effort to manifest your desires. So you have to first have a desire and then you have to have the method and the corresponding ways to make the desire come into reality. So for example, let's say you want to cast a money spell. You have to first know that you need money or want money for whatever this thing is an approximate amount that you hope to achieve and you hope to get. And then you need, how are you casting this spell? Is it a candle magic spell? Is it, um, uh, is it a poppet spell? Um, it's a whole bunch of different ways you can cast it. So what kind of spell is it? Is it a, a honey jar? It's so many different ways you can kick this. So that's the other thing. So it's no way in hell you're going to do this by accident because all of these things have to be thought through and intentionally done. A spell has to be cast at a certain time. You have to wait until the moon is in a certain place from the Earth's perspective. So, for example, if you want to do any kind of magic, the full moon, when the moon is at its apex, is the best time. If you want to do magic to draw things to you, the new moon is the best time. If you want to push things away, the dark of the moon is the best time. So you have to know some of these kinds of things and you have to have the ingredients. You need the candles. The candles need to be dressed in oils for prosperity if you're trying to draw money to you. You need the right color candle. You're going to use white or you're going to use green or you're going to use gold. You see? So you have to know so many things that you can't do this by accident. If you're going to use a poppet and do like a poppet to draw money, you're going to need the ingredients. You're going to have to have things, <laughs> a cauldron. You're going to have to have, you know, things to actually cast a spell. Now, there are times when people cast spells not using all these kinds of things. Um, but the majority of the time we use things. So the only other time that you may cast a spell and not mean to do it is when you do something called psychic attack. Psychic attack is when you verbally, mentally, and emotionally are wishing something positive or negative on a person. If it's an attack, it's going to be negative. So let's say, for an example, you, your cousin, your grandma, and your sister are sitting around talking about your Uncle Bunny. And he ain't shit. He ain't taking care of his kids. Um, he been in and out of jail, uh, you know. And you guys are just sitting around dogging him, talking shit, telling stories. He ain't getting himself together. People don't realize this form of gossip, especially with more than one person and such an angry, heavy energy to it, is called a psychic attack. This is a kind of spell that you could cast without even knowing. Because think about it. People gossip about other people every day. And they don't really know or think in most cases that they could be psychically attacking this person and being harmful. Basically, what you're doing is you're pushing more negative energy 
towards this person. And if you're in a group, if it's, if it's a group of you and you're all sitting there doing it and you're talking smack, <laughs> you know, that absolutely is basically the equivalent of a psychic attack, which is the equivalent of a spell. So you are potentially harming this person. The person you're talking about, your Uncle Bunny, who's already having problems in life, apparently, and now y'all sitting around dogging him and pushing more bad energy towards him. So I always tell people gossiping is the worst thing you can possibly do. Everybody talks about what happened or gives the details of a situation, but it's not just that part of it. Because that's one thing. Okay, Uncle Bunny's not taking care of his kids. Things aren't going too well. That's one thing. Another thing is Uncle Bunny ain't shit. He never took care of his kids. He That's a whole different vibration. And that's the psychic attack. And I hear people do that all the time to their supposed loved ones and don't even realize that they're sending bad juju, bad energy, bad vibrations towards this person who clearly has enough on their plate. Uncle Bunny got enough got enough smoke. He don't need no more heat. <laughs> okay? Uncle Bunny got problems with the kids. He in and out of jail. He does not need his loved one standing around in a circle spitting psychic attacks in him. So that's the one way that it could potentially happen. Also, you could do that in a positive way. And this is something I really do see. But you could sit around in that same scenario and talk about all the good things Uncle Bunny did. Well, Uncle Bunny's having some issues, but you know what? When I needed somebody, he was there. When I needed $5, he gave it to me. When I was stuck by the side of the road, he came and picked me up. Maybe he's not the best father in the world, but whenever I call him with a problem, he will listen. So the same people can sit in a circle and talk positively about Uncle Bunny and cause the exact opposite, cause positive energy to come towards him and come towards his life. And I never see that. I, I, I rarely have ever. I think about how many times you've seen people sitting around talking positively about a person who's in a bad situation, trying to breathe life into the situation, trying to breathe positive energy into it. It's hardly ever seen. People are usually talking about another person's shortcomings and what they haven't done, you know, or take, for example, your cousin TT. Oh, she pregnant again. She can't take care of the kids that she got. But rarely will the family say, you know, TT's having a hard time and it is difficult with her, with her children, but she's trying her best. She gets up every day and takes them to school. She makes sure they're clean and well fed. You know, she doesn't have that much money, but she does the best that she can. How many times do you hear people do that? Because I don't, I rarely, usually I'm the one that brings it up because I know about psychic attacks. And I think that that's part of it is that a lot of people don't even know that term. So if you want to, when you're finished, Google that term. Um, I first came across that term in a book. It's called The Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. That's the first time I came across it. And then from doing readings and from reading other books, I came across it time and time again. Over the past 15 years, I've seen it over and over again. And then I watch people do it in real life. And I'm like, they don't even realize they're putting bad juju on people with their words. A spell at its basic, basic is words. Everything else just adds to the vibration. There's the words, there's the candles, there's the energy, there's the oil, there's the herbs, there's the prayer, there's the incantation, there's the meditation or whatever people put. Because some of these things people put and some of these things people don't. Depends on your tradition. It depends on a number of things, which spell you're casting. But the words, that's why it's called spell. Because the words are the most important part. Your intention, your focus, your words, that's the important part. So if you are talking nasty about people, how they ain't shit, they ain't going to be shit, they ain't going to amount to shit, they wasn't shit, they never going to be shit, their daddy wasn't shit, their mama ain't shit, you are basically cursing them.
you are pushing bad juju, bad energy towards them. And you might not even know that. But now that I've said it, now you know. Now you're responsible. <laughs> if you watch this video and you Google psychic attack and you think about it and now you know, now you're responsible. Because whatever energy, that bad energy you put towards a person, that bad energy comes back to you. So you sitting there talking about Uncle Bunny? <laughs> you sitting there talking about Cousin TT? Guess who that bad energy is coming back to? You and those in that circle during that cipher, during that session. So I would say if you really want to be effective, if you really want to be helpful, or if you're looking at a person's life and you're upset or you're hurt or you're mad at Uncle Bunny, mad at Cousin TT, mad at your dad, mad at your mom, mad at your ex about how they're living, I would say try your best to talk about what they are doing. Try to breathe more positive energy towards them instead of negative. We all know the negative stuff that's going on. And we're going to talk about it. It's going to come up. But you don't have to sit there and harp on it. I had a friend who um, is not my friend anymore. And I don't think she ever really was. But it is what it is. But I had this person I thought was a friend who was a Libra. And her and her friends, her other friends, would sit around and talk about this one girl who was in their circle. And the girl was um, was kind of like problematic. I mean, she was just, she was problematic. I mean, she was, that was not a lie. But they would sit every day and talk about what new things she had done. Cause she would come and tell them all these outrageous stories about things that she had done. And then after she went to bed or she got offline, they would sit and talk about this girl like a dog every day. Oh, and then she did this. Oh, did she tell you that? Oh, did you see what she was wearing? Oh, she's sleeping with so-and-so. Oh, I heard she got herpes. And every day, they're, they're throwing this bad energy at this girl. So they're throwing bad energy at her, and that energy is bouncing right back to them. A nasty, repetitive cycle. Day after day. And I said to her one day, so I said, so you're going to, because she, mind you, this girl that I'm talking about, she was somebody who was a priestess in training. She never finished and probably never will, but at the time she was in training. So, and I was actually trying to train her at the time. So I said to her, I said, you know about psychic attack. So you're just going to sit around and psychically attack this girl every day and not think that's not coming back to you. And she changed the subject. <laughs> I would have too <laughs> if I didn't want to be accountable and responsible for what I was doing. I might change the subject as well. But she changed the subject and moved on. But the bottom line is, is that you really can't do that. And many of us have done it before. I think most of us are guilty because most of us don't know that at certain points in our lives. But it is a way of casting a negative spell on a person that can be very harmful. So that's the one way that I know for a fact and I have seen, I have witnessed cause problems. So like I said, if you know a person who's having a hard time in life, try to breathe positivity towards them instead of more negativity, okay? All right, guys, time for me to get going. So if you would like a reading, please email me and I will give you an appointment. All of my information will be underneath this video and come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.